We head into the new week and new month with stocks still doing a good job of extending to record highs. What's interesting about the latest push is that it hasn't been accompanied by the same sentiment in the currency markets. We actually saw a strong wave of U.S. dollar demand into the end of the last week as FX market participants get ready for a Fed that very well could be less investor friendly at this week's meeting as the central bank is forced to consider the larger downside risks associated with not reacting to rising inflation looking less and less like it's transitory in nature. We believe this continues to be a red flag for already well-extended equities, but at the same time, we also recognize the tremendous momentum behind this trade and the possibility that stocks will continue to drive higher as monetary policy still remains accommodative enough to make equity market valuations compelling. Last week's discouraging U.S. GDP reads have also further encouraged investors on the same old story of bad news being good news for stocks. Looking at today's calendar, key standouts come in the form of German retail sales, Canada manufacturing PMIs, U.S. ISM manufacturing, and U.S. construction spending. That's all for now.